we are heading up to this EC called the Criteria Red 5 Beta. Being a first mover advantage. On the north south orientation, 1378 square feet, you have a dining as well as a kitchen. <laughs> now, today, Brian Brothers is at Yishun and we are heading up to this EC called the Criteria. Now, this project is just three years old, which means that you're buying into a first mover advantage. And if you are looking for a rare five beta that is sitting on the north south orientation with a moving condition as well as an asking price of $1.45 million, which is well below the average pricing right over here, then I think you should watch on, join us as Brian Brother brings you along this home tour. Let's go. First up, since we are at a 5 beta that is standing at a size of 1,378 square feet, I think we should bring you around the house first before we kickstart a home tour in proper and deep dive into why this is one of the best finds that you can find in terms of the first mover advantage, especially when they are still going to be capital appreciated in time to come. I think the entire unit has been very efficiently planned up once you reach here. This is where you can find your shoe cabinets and uh, moving on towards here, this is where you have your enclosed kitchen, your yard, your utility. And as you head in towards the living and dining, you have the longitudinal kind of layout so that's where you can have your dining as well as the living all in a single line fashion balcony tucked towards here three bedrooms towards here one common bath one additional bedroom and that's where you have your junior master as well as your gorgeous and big size master bedroom but i think enough of the sneak peek let's dive right into the project specifics as well as why we think this is one of the best unit that you can find in today's market So for Criterion, this is developed by CDL. So I think in terms of the track record for the developers, you can have absolute confidence. Criterion TOP back in 2018 and its expected MOP date is going to be in December 2023. And what that means is that for our owners, they have gotten the early sale approval. And if you are buying into this unit, you will definitely have to qualify for the EC eligibility criteria. Now for this development, you have a total of 505 units split amongst two bidder all the way until five bidder. And for five bidder, you have a different type of configuration. For five bidder, there are a total of 13 units and we are actually one of them. So in terms of the rarity of product right here, that accounts to only just 2.5% out of the entire development. So first up, right at the front of the unit, that's where you can find your shoe cabinets. And I would say, in terms of the storage space for your shoe cabinets, that is definitely sufficient. And the conditions are still in immaculate condition. See the mirrors right over here, so this also allows you to check yourself out just before you head out. Now as you move along this, where you can find your enclosed kitchen, and I would say the enclosed kitchen is definitely big in size. And naturally so for a 5 bedder unit. And I would say, how often can you find such a bright kitchen? And you're basically wrapped around the entire glass panel, that's going to allow a lot of natural sunlight coming in. And you have your DB box right here, that's where you can hand some of the umbrellas and the dedicated fridge space and I would say the fridge space is definitely big enough for you to put in even those kind of two door fridge or if let's say you want to expand the space you can still just remove this but otherwise you can just leave it as it is and you have ample of storage space on the top as well as the bottom with a combination of pull-out drawers as well as cabinets you have this three burner cooker hop system as well as oven with a condiment pull-out tray right here and big sink as you move towards the tail end this is where you can find your additional storage space WC as well as your utility room right over here this is where you can even stack in like three washer and dryer right over at this section so I would say in terms of your yard area it's definitely more than sufficient now what the owner have done is that they want to utilize the entire space and they have basically removed the WC right here but if let's say you wish to have it installed you can easily do so Alright, so coming into the living as well as the dining hall area, I would say the space is definitely sufficient and big enough for an entire family to enjoy because this is lined up in the longitudinal fashion and that's where you can have your living and dining all in a single street line. I think you can definitely fit in like a 4 or 5 pack sofa seater right here. Now TV console has already been done and all these are floating console in nature. I think that makes cleaning a lot easier. All these have already been done with glass panels so I think that's where you can tuck away all your TV gadgets 
right over here. The entire unit has been done with four ceiling with the addition of cove lighting as well as downlight that have all been installed throughout the entire bedrooms as well as living and dining area. And as we head out towards the balcony, now this is also facing right towards the south and uh, you do not have any western sun exposure which is great. But otherwise, if let's say you would like to enclose up this space, a few options that can be done. One is of course to install this kind of zip track uh, which has already been approved. If let's say you want to have those kind of alfresco dining, you still can do so right over here. This is where you have your lap pool. So I think the height is definitely sufficient. You can enjoy your evening right over here overlooking towards a gorgeous pool. Now why we say that buying into an EC before its MOP period is considered kind of like a first mover advantage. Now if we take a look at the surrounding ECs where some of the transactions have already been past its MOP as well as some of the transactions that were clocked before its MOP and so we also notice that for buyers that buy into a project before its MOP in terms of the per square foot pricing they are still remaining at a very competitive level and why is that so is also because for an EC they are being governed by this 5 years MOP period and most of the sellers will only be able to exit after the 5 years mark with the exception of the early sale approval. Now once an EC reaches its 5 years mark, that is when a lot of transactions will start to take place and that will then lead to a higher per square foot pricing that will be transacted down the road. And what that means for you as a buyer is that for this current asking price of 1,052 per square foot pricing, it can potentially reach towards 1,200 per square foot pricing mark. And based on the past statistics, this 20% price increment between the time of buying into a pre-MOP EC till the time that EC reaches its MOP has been a price trend for some of the EC developments right here within the vicinity. The next thing that we want to take a look is in terms of the price behaviour predominantly when we are looking right here within the Yishun as well as Khatib vicinity. Majority of the housing developments belongs to the HDB in nature and as we take a look at some of the condo developments, you have the Estuary, Wisteria, Miltonia Residences, Sky Miltonia as well as Signature and Yishun which is also one of the ECs that will reach its MOP in 2022. And so the asking price right here, if you take a look at Estuary, they are already going at 1,002 PSF. Wisteria is going at about average of 1,300 PSF. Guys, Miltonia as well as Miltonia Residences, they are going at an average of about 1,100 PSF. And lastly, Signature at Yishun, which is also a pre-MOP project, and that is also going at an average price of about 1,100 per square foot pricing. And if you take a look at some of the newer developments that are going to happen right around here, such as North Gaia being an EC in nature, the expected launch price is already going to be touching at a price range of about 1,200 per square foot pricing. And as you take a look at the Canberra where you have Water Gardens as well as Commodore, the transacted pricing for a 5 beta right over there is already going at about 1,300 per square foot pricing. And what that means for this new launch project is that few years down the road when the reaches is a Ability to resell into the open market, that is also the time where they would likely want to hit the per square foot pricing of about 1,500 onwards. And if you take a look collectively, if you to compare with some of the new launch projects as well as some of the resale developments right around here, you are already going in at a price cushion of about $200 all the way until $500. And coupled with the fact that you are buying into a 5 bidder, which is considered rare within the vicinity, this will definitely help you to safeguard your exit plan in time to come. Another strong anchor point to safeguard in terms of an exit plan, you will also notice that you have some of the HDB clusters which have already reached its MOP and some of the HDB clusters that are still currently undergoing construction and they will reach its MOP in the next 5-7 to seven years down the road. You are definitely well supported by some of the HDB upgraders especially when you are in a mature estate in time to come when you choose to exit. If you take a look at the entire map itself, you will also notice that where Orchid Country Club there is currently zoned as a residential land plot with the surrounding estate being zoned as a reserve site. While we are unable to speculate what's going to happen next, but should the time come to redevelop the entire space, having a residential development just right opposite also means that it's definitely going to be rejuvenation as well as a higher pricing benchmark in time to come. Now right over here, this is where you can definitely fit in an 8-pack sitter. And what Oda have done is that they've already installed this built-in bench that comes with additional storage space. So I think this is such a great feature to have. And let's check out the remaining of the 5 bedrooms right over here. Now coming to the very first bedroom, now this is currently fitted with a single size. Two panels of wardrobe have already been done and installed by the developer and all these are still in original condition. Now for every bedroom, you can definitely fit in a queen size 
with the exception of the study room. And even if you were to expand to put in a queen size bed, you can still do so. It will probably just come until this line and you'll still have ample of walking space right around the bedroom. This is where you have your common bathroom. I would say the common bathroom size is not too big and that will also allocate more space for the bedroom itself. And what you have here is the basin with additional storage space right at the bottom. And of course, if let's say you want to increase space, you can still do so right over here. But otherwise, lightings have been done. I don't think you need to do much and proper shower area and additional space right here for you to place in all your toiletries. We move towards the second bedroom. Now, second bedroom is identical in terms of the shape and size from the very first bedroom. And I'll say the space is still big enough after fitting the bunk bed. I think you can still place in your study desk right here. Two panels of wardrobe also similarly provided for by the developer. And otherwise, if let's you want to expand the queen size, the space is definitely still sufficient. Now, coming to the third bedroom, what our owner have done is that they have basically converted this into a pure study area and uh, I think if let's say you are a family with kids you will definitely love to have this space all this carpentry have all been done with glass back panels but if let's say you want to have a bit of flexibility you want to have this as your part study and part bedroom type what you can then do is to install the Murphy bed right over here which is collapsible in nature and you can still have space for your wardrobe as well as your table right position over here So now moving on to the next bedroom. Now this is a Julian Master. Now for the Julian Master, it definitely comes along with its own ensuite. And uh, right over here, this is where you can still fit in the queen size. This is probably the width of the queen size bed. Now I will say in terms of the size, this is definitely great. And uh, just to check out the size of the Julian Master, I will say the size of the Julian Master is great. You have a great ventilation window that is just right next to the shower area. And that's going to provide you with lots of ventilation. Similarly, you have additional storage space. If let's say you would like to increase your storage space, you can still do so right at the mirror portion. If let's say you were to have your elderly folks staying along with you and what can then happen is that you can then plan to restructure the entire portfolio and your parents house can then be going into a full-on rental mode now alternatively if let's say your parents have sufficient cash and they would like to reinvest into other property if let's say both of their names are registered under one property account what they can do is they can move over here sell away their current property and then they can buy into two separate properties without incurring ABSD now of course these are just some of the options but of course if you do not wish to adopt this you will know that there are some level of flexibility for you to play around Last but not least, let's move on to the master room. I would say the master room is definitely huge in terms of today's content because how often can you find a king size bed that is still fitted with one, two, three, four, five, six panels of wardrobe space? And space is definitely big enough, even if let's say you wish to have a bit of work from home situation. You can still accommodate the study table right over here, but otherwise, if let's say you're a movie buff, you can always install a TV console right along this section. And coming into the master bathroom, similar kind of setup, you have your sink, your WC, as well as your shower area that is just right next towards the ventilation window. And of course, for this one, it comes with additional storage space right at the top as well as the bottom. Now let's check out what are some of the weekend activities you and your families can do right over here within the Yishun Enclave. You can head over towards Lower Seleta Reservoir Park as well as the Yishun Park that is just right within the corner or otherwise you can head down towards the park connector Home Team NS with Seleta Aerospace Hub Auto where you can enjoy some of the fishing activities trampoline park as well as pinball activities now, But otherwise if let's say you choose to stay within the compound and you do not wish to head out there's lots of amenities for your entire family to enjoy That's where you can find your 50 meters net pool your kids play pool your fitness station your gym your spa pool Now last but not least, when we talk about location, Criterion is located right between Yishun Street 51 as well as Yishun Avenue 1 and in terms of connectivity, we are just about 10 minutes bus right away towards Khatib MRT Station and once you are at Khatib MRT Station, it might not be as ulu as what you think because just 3 stops down, that will basically bring you towards Bishan MRT and another 4 stops down, that will bring you towards Newton where you can change to the downtown line and one more stop down, that will bring you towards Orchard area. And for those that drive, we are just a short drive away towards the SCLE as well as the TPE. And also not forgetting that because we are positioned just right between the Seleta Aerospace Hub as well as Khatib, we'll definitely create some of the housing demands right over here within the Khatib facility. For family school going kids, within 1km, you have Northland Primary School as well as Naval Base Primary School. 
Now, let's say you're a growing family with young kids, you have three childcare centers within 600 meter radius of Criterion. You also have lots of groceries scattered right around Criterion, where you can find your NTUC as well as your giant supermarket. And in terms of eateries, that's where you can find some of the options just directly across the street, or otherwise, you can head over towards the Yishun Park Hawker Center where you can find even more food options right over there. Now come 2023 when Criterion reaches its MOP, that's also the time where you have your Cartier Polyclinic that will be developed as well as the entire Chompang which will then be rejuvenated. And few years down the road, that's where the entire North-South Corridor will be developed and that will also be in line in terms of an exit plan if you choose to exit in the next 5 or 8 years down the road. So if you like what you've seen right here in the Criterion TOP in 2018 being a first mover advantage, buying in at a price of $1.45 million, placing out per square foot pricing well below $1,100 and if you are looking for a rare product right here, 5 bidder in nature, standing at a size of close to 1,400 square feet, then I think you should get in touch with our listing team, arrange for physical viewing. And if you like our content, do subscribe to our channel on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram and TikTok. My name is George Ping from Brewing Brothers, always happy to show you. And as you head over on this side, you have a dining as well as a kitchen. <laughs> because over the past couple of years, what our PLB Insights research teams... Uh, no, not for me. Then what's why here? Then, after that, don't like. Why is it here? Where is it? Okay. You are already entering with a price. You are... You are... You are... You are... <laughs>